G'day, well g'day everybody. Next project from DMW has just arrived and Project Jeep, is that a thing? What's the go, Ruben? Why aren't you here? I'm a little bit surprised because we've gone from, I thought Ruben was a Toyota guy, crossed the line and went to Nissan, and now he's gone to Jeep. So we've got his Jeep here today. Ruben can't be here, so he's off with the fairies driving up hills and stuff. So. Um, We've got a few mods to do on this. So we're gonna do a big suspension upgrade in this thing um, that actually suits the 37 wheels and start building this for him and get a, um, a super sweet, if I can say it, a super sweet Jeep on the road. So we're gonna be with Matt from Dobinson Suspension today. So Matt's gonna give us a hand to do the install. We'll go through the products that we're putting in the car. And oh gee, I gotta say, I don't know. I don't know about Jeeps. I'm, um, I'm a Toyota guy, I've told you that before. But let's see how we go with the Jeep and get it in the shed and um, see what we can come up with. It'll be a surprise, I think. So let's do a walk around on the Jeep. He's taken delivery of a Jeep Gladiator, which is a dual cab ute in the Jeep range. So similar to a Wrangler, but with a tray on the back of it in the Rubicon. Now it says trail rated four x four. Our Jeep's trail rated. He's gone and put the big 37s on it already. So needs a suspension to stop the wheels dragging. So we're gonna get that sorted. Everything else at the moment is, um, is pretty standard. Come around this way. No doubt there's gonna be bar work, snorkel, all that sort of stuff going on it. The back's getting a brand new DMW tray and canopy getting built for it. So that's gonna be a pretty cool thing for the, for the Jeep Gladiator. So take the tub off the back and go to a canopy and, um, and tray on it, built by DMW. Will be awesome to see what that looks like. Everything else at the moment's pretty stock. So um, let's give this thing some love and build it into something nice. V6 petrol. We've got a little bit of a surprise for here too, eh? Part of the build for him. We're gonna put a supercharger in here too. He loves his superchargers. He broke the patrol with his superchargers, so um, rips out drive shafts and all sorts of stuff on the patrol. So let's do the same to this and see if we can get some decent Reuben revs out of it for down the track, eh? <laughs> So these are the MRAs, aren't they? Yep. Remote res adjustables. Oh, well, well, here we are in our Highfields Mechanical Workshop. No Reuben, but I'm here with Matt from hey, Dobinson Craig, Suspension in, um, in Brisbane. Dobinson's a great Australian company, and Australia, look, is made up of a heap of um, awesome aftermarket manufacturers for our four-wheel drive industry and if you're in the states it's the overlanding industry for you guys and we've got the new jeep here for reuben uh, for dmw matt what are we doing to it so today we're going to upgrade the suspension let's give it a three inch lift going to put our fully adjustable remote red shocks in it that has been previously reuben tested yeah oh, yeah well definitely <laughs> we've seen that so de um springs on the patrol on the 200s uh 200 yep, series the yep, the yep. 300's got that um, yep. dobinson's in it we're putting the Dobbos into the um, into the Jeep. Now, you said three inch lift. Three inch lift, yeah. remote res, increased oil and capacity, fully adjustable for when you're loaded, unloaded, and just, um, take up those bumps when you're really giving it a hard time. Awesome, now the other side of this is, this will get with that suspension in it and the other mods that we're doing to it, it's gonna get a GVM upgrade as well. So DMW are working on increasing the GVM capacity of the, um, of the Gladiator, which, I think, honestly, I think it needs because it's under three tonne at the moment yeah, with 2, or something. Yeah. Yep, yep. So once the train and canopy goes on it and we put all our gear in that we use for touring and four-wheel driving and if they're in the States, if you use it for overlanding, but the weight adds up pretty quickly. So um, GVM's a great idea, um, which will accommodate the 37-inch tyres and I believe 35s as well. So that's got to go through its testing, um, but they'll do that and do it well and I think everything will go to plan. So yep, yep. excited to see how these go because they're a good product. Oh, awesome product. Been out now for a few years, done a lot of testing. Yep. Great product. Great product. So we've got arms to go into it. Yep. There's airbags to go into it as well. We're going to be here for a little while. Thanks, Reuben. Appreciate your... Um, yeah, thanks for your help, mate. Just leaving. So <laughs> well, that's the way it goes. So we'll get it done and, um, yeah, let's get this underway. Mm. This will look really good when it's done. It's going to look pretty schmick, actually. I'm pretty excited, but we'll see.
Righto, two little shocks are going to be replaced by two big shocks. Take a look at the difference. If I haven't said it before, this is one of the reasons we upgrade suspension. Little Jeep <laughs> shock, big Dobinson shock. Big shocks mean more oil, increased valving, all that sort of stuff. So controls, the oscillation of the springs, a lot better on heavy vehicles as well. So yeah, that's why we're doing it. So, oh, no, we're going to have to come with a bit of plan here. I'll hold my finger up. There. Oh, look at that. Didn't even need to try on that one. Only side first, didn't we? All right. Matty, what do we got? Well, we've got the shocks out of this. We've put the new springs in, but tell us about the Dobinson shock absorbers. A little bit different. So we've got a 50 mil body, 66 mil body. Yeah. 14 mil shaft to a 22 mil shaft. So they're going to handle a lot more off-roading. That's some use. pretty big changes hey, in, in size. And I guess because you've got a bigger body, bigger piston size, bigger oil capacity, yeah? That's right, more oil. Then you've got the remote reds which carries even more oil yep. to handle the corrugations. Which right. keeps the shock cooler. Yep. Yep. Which kills the shock. Hot yeah. oil will kill the shock and you'll get shock fade. So, so that's yeah. one of the reasons why we replace or upgrade suspension, upgrade shock absorbers particularly, because we're going from a little shock like that, which oil capacity essentially is limited, particularly for our environment with yep. corrugated gravel roads and stuff like that, when you've got a shock that's just bouncing up and down the whole time. The idea of a shock absorber, for those that don't know, is to convert kinetic energy or spring okay. oscillation into heat and dissipate it out. So more oil we got, the better that does it. And then on top of that, you've got adjustment. So we've got a rebound adjustment, and then we've got high and low speed compression also. Awesome. Well, let's get these in the car, and yeah, it'll and also it'll uh, compensate for the ride height increase on this That's as right. well. Longer yeah, so. shock, the longer spring. Yeah, and better controlling extra weight on the vehicle and all that sort of stuff. So That's this right. is why a firmer spring, so they'll control the spring better than a factory one would. Awesome. Righto. We'll get it done. I don't even think Ruben's driven this car yet, so it's just going to turn into a beast. <laughs> and yeah, he's. Hopefully some wealth well factor in it for him, but um, we'll wait and see. This is what Craig does when he's not doing the work. That, that's cool. Getting closer, we'll let it down a bit and then have a look at, um, you right to come down or? Yeah, I'll just nip these zip ties. Change the height of that. That's, you actually put two bolts into that bracket. Oh, that'll work, won't it? Yeah.
we doing here? Well, we actually play some, I call them radius arms. Um, you got that one? That's got to come oh, off. That's the end of that. It's on the ground now. So because we've gone such a big lift in this, every time we increase the um, height of suspension, it does two things. It actually, we want to increase the back, we want to increase the front, it pulls the axles closer together. And it actually moves the axles on a solid axle to the one side because of the panard bar. So what we're going to do is put adjustable um, radius arms in the front because when that axle moves back, it changes the caster angle, upsets the wheel alignment, yep. drives like a dog. Like so we'll um, put, put these in. in, set them up, um, and restore that caster angle back. So it, even with a big high vehicle, big tyres, it'll still drive nicely down the road. So um, that's why we've got to do the caster, or radius arms on it, caster arms. So I've got to work out right, hey. how much adjustment we need to change it by. So 610. I'm just going from oh, there, yeah. there to there. 635. Let's make sure that is 610. 635. Uh, that'll be the location of the bush. 640. If I turn that over. Hey, off. Oh yeah, because of the angle. Of it, yeah. yeah. Let's roll with that. We might have to take that on the side out to get enough um, to get that side in. So I'll put the other. Too much? That's a. Uh, it did move back though when it when it came out. Yeah. Okay. Just let me have a look at that, just to see what that angle looks like. I reckon that should. What's the springs look for? Springs look. They're still down a bit, aren't they? Still back a bit, aren't they? Yeah, we've got caster there, so that's a cool thing. So, see what happens. The wheel liner will tell us everything. So Matt, tell me, we've just pulled out, that's a Jeep shock, yeah? That's a standard and one, And we measured yeah. that before and that was like same, nothing yeah. in diameter. Yep. They're a twin tube, aren't they? Definitely a twin tube. And these are these a tube. Yeah. Yep. So yep. what's the difference for the well, people at home? Bigger bore. 
basically bigger bore, you're more royal in it. A bigger bore in this cooling. one, yeah. Bigger bore, much bigger bore, so it's a whole shot, it's a whole bit full of piston in there. So that's basically a tube inside a tube, yep. which means your piston diameter is smaller. Um, some of them do run a bypass up to the side between the two tubes on different manufacturers of shocks, but yeah, again, oil capacity is everything and piston so size. bigger size for ours, the piston's the same, the whole size of that, not half the size of that. So Matt, these are the MRAs, or the MRRs. Monotube remote res shock absorber. Again, these hold more oil, don't they? Same thing. Yeah, because the res. All the shocks full of oil, oil and then some gas there. Adjustable. Yep, um, the high and low speed compression here, and the rebounds is down here. Reuben's going to need them. Oh, yeah. So, with the adjustment, that also compensates when you're loaded, unloaded, if you're towing, things yeah, like okay. that. Yep. Gives you that flexibility. Best of both worlds, basically. And they're just a clicker style, yep, so. Just yep. Oh, yeah, so you can. Five, yeah. You've got a nice feel with yeah. you know what you're doing. That's the go. And down the bottom is just a little special tool that comes with it, a little screwdriver or yeah. And they clamp on there nicely, that's the go, that's good. Make sure down we're not trailing on anything, which is good. It's off the chassis. No, that's sweet. Reuben proof a Jeep, is that possible? No, we'll give it a go. <laughs> Try it. Is it Reuben ready? <laughs> <laughs> We've got to have to do a wheel alignment on it now and just tighten up everything, make sure yep. everything's tight and settled in and um, make sure, see how good we are about guessing at caster yeah, that's angles. Scary, isn't it, <laughs> um, the, but otherwise, yeah. Got the adjustments up here, it's nice and easy to get to. It's nice and neat. Yep, I think we're right, we're going to do the wheel alignment. Half tempted to throw a trade plate on it and just take it for a boot up the road. The road Shh, don't tell Reuben. <laughs> <laughs> right, that's He's not it. here. <laughs> no, that's it. <laughs>a bit different when it drove in, doesn't it? Definitely. Hey. The actual wheel fits in the guard a bit better and it's probably sitting up, what, 80 mil, you reckon? I reckon it's come up about that, yeah. yeah. Tyres aren't scrubbing now. <laughs> no, definitely don't, because that was making some horrible noises. Reuben, yeah. easy as. I don't know why you decided to go away and just play and leave this up to us. But anyway, I've got it done for you. Full wheel on. Will he break it? All good. Giddy up. I don't think he'll break the suspension. <laughs> He'll break something. He'll break something. <laughs> He'll break something. That's we'll keep an eye on this space, hey, because I think there's, some more, there's more cool stuff to go into that. Engine. Engine. Tray. tray. Canopy. Um, there's bar work to go on it. 
all the stuff that Ruben uses. So <laughs> some for his own benefit, some for the car's benefit, but um, yeah, we've got a fair bit to go on it, but it'll look good. So um, watch this space. Well, I hope you liked that video. Make sure you hit subscribe or you're gonna get bogged.